Hello everyone, welcome. This is Professor Edward Gray uh, talking to you now and welcome to our course. Uh, our class is of course Practical English, Beginner's Practical English uh, and we focus on the TOEFL test, test of English as a foreign language. Um, I want to welcome you to our class. I'm happy to have you as students this semester. Um, I'm sad, however, that we cannot meet as a class, at least not right away. Um, as we all know, we've been going through a, a terrible pandemic uh, and all of us together are, are trying to do our best to, to limit the effects of the pandemic. And uh, hopefully very soon, because of our efforts and the efforts of everyone, uh, we might be able to go back into the classroom. I, I would love to as soon as possible and I'm sure many of you would, but for now, until we can go into the classroom, we're going to conduct our class online through videos. Um, I prefer sending you videos every week. I've been doing this uh, for a while and uh, the reaction has been very, very positive. Um, each Monday, I will send you a video like this one and you will, I'll send you a link. You will upload it, watch it, do the work with me. It'll be just like a class. I'll go through the class, the book, the work, the material with you in the video, just as I would in the classroom. So you'll do the same amount of work. You'll do the same amount of homework. You'll have three days usually to watch the video, do the work, do the homework and send me your homework and responses and questions. Usually I ask, for your response, your reply by Thursday. Your attendance is based on your reply. When you reply to me on time and show me your work or show, tell me that you've done your work, then you get credit for the attendance as well as the work, but it must be on time each week. Okay, so again, we're going to conduct our class through online videos that I send you each week. It's a, basically a classroom video. Today, I'm coming to you from my, my uh, office at my home, but from next week, I will be sending you videos that I do in our actual classroom. All right, so let's go over the syllabus. Okay, I sent you the syllabus earlier this morning in an attachment. So I'll quickly go over it. Um, obviously, my office hours aren't important because we cannot meet for now. Uh, the textbook, now this is a little confusing. This is the book. Uh, I gave you the name, Longman Preparation Course for the TOEFL IBT uh, TOEFL Test. Now, this book is uh, not easy to get anymore. You can try online, you can try at the bookstores. It's the second edition, okay? But as most of you might not be able to get it, I have arranged with the, uh, the lady uh, at the copy center of B B2. So if you go to basement two of Ardon, you there is a copy center there called AJ Solutions. I can show you this. And she has, she will prepare a printout of the material you need for the class, okay? You can call her, email her ahead of time and she'll prepare it. Or you can just go in uh, order it and she should have it to you certainly within one day. You don't need it right away. I'm not giving you any work or homework this week. So you have basically until next week to get either get the book or get the photocopied copy of it in B2 of our dome. If there's any problem, confusion, anything goes wrong, please just email me and uh, let me know and I will try to solve it for you. Okay, that's the textbook. Basically, that's all you have to do this week is watch the video, get the book, and then uh, send me an email and tell me that you uh, watched the video and that you got the book. Okay, course objective, the, uh, please just follow along with me uh, with the syllabus here. Give students an introduction to the TOEFL test. TOEFL stands for Test of English as a Foreign Language. This will be done through a combination of weekly mini lectures on TOEFL test taking strategies and common TOEFL questions and practice test sessions that the students will complete. So 
this is an introduction, okay? If you've had no TOEFL experience, that's fine. That's great. The course is for you. Don't be afraid if TOEFL is new. That's what this course is for. It's an introduction. It's a beginner's. So don't be intimidated by the test. It seems a little difficult at first, but the idea here is to learn about it. We're not taking a complete TOEFL test. We're building our skills, knowledge, and experience of the TOEFL test over the course of a semester. Okay? Again, if this is new for you, that's great. That's fine. The course is for you. On the other hand, if you have studied TOEFL or even taken a TOEFL, this course will help you refine your skills and improve your strategies and knowledge, and most importantly, just practice. The key to tests like this is just lots of practice, lots of experience. You build your knowledge and understanding. Tests, there will be two exams during the semester, a midterm exam, week eight or week nine. I'll let you know later, don't, don't worry about that right now. And the final exam, of course, in week 15. Uh, exams will consist of TOEFL questions and then you see the final grades. Your attendance and participation is 20%. Your midterm exam is 30%. Your final exam is 50%. Now, I might adjust those a little bit because since we're online, uh, the attendance and participation is pretty critical. You've got to get You've got to get your emails to me. You've got to do it on time. That's really, really critical for this class to, to work well for you. But anyway, for now, these are the numbers. Um, the school has said we can most likely have our tests in class. If we can, I will do that. If the school allows it, then I will have us meet for mid the midterm and the final in class on campus. If the school says no, of course, then we cannot and we will do the tests online. But I am really hoping at least to do the tests in class with you during the semester. We have to wait and see what, what happens between now and then. For now, don't worry about tests. That's two months down the road. For now, we're just learning about the course and getting ready to take this class. Um, one other thing about the, the grades is um, I must follow the grading curve that's given to me by the school. Uh, generally, if you get 90% or higher in my course, I give you an A. 80% or higher, I give you a B. 70 or higher, I give you a C. 60% or higher, I give you a D. Uh, but I adjust that according to the school's rules. The school will tell me the maximum amount of A's or B's that I can give, and then I adjust my grading to follow the school's rules as much as I can. Let's not worry too much about grades now. This is just week number one. But if you have questions about grading at any time during the semester, of course, please ask me in an email. Attendance and lateness. Students are expected to attend class regularly and be on time. Now, our class is of course online. Your attendance is based on watching the video, doing the work, sending me an email. Sometimes I ask you to show me your work and always I ask you to ask me questions. That's your job. If you don't ask me, I can't answer. So anytime you have a question about the work, the homework, anything, the TOEFL, please ask. Lateness. I usually ask you to email me on Thursday afternoon, like this week, Thursday at five o'clock. If it's after that, it's late. If it's more than a day after that, then I just count you as absent. Getting your, your response to me and getting it to me on time are very, very important in our course. You have plenty of time to do the work. Three days is enough time. If there's some sort of uh, urgent situation or emergency or you know you have to go to the doctor or there's a family situation, okay, I understand, email me. Tell me, if you have a reason why you cannot get the work done on time, 
you must tell me in an email. Okay, then I can excuse you or I can give you more time to do it. But otherwise, you must get it done on time, of course. Uh, schedule each week, we will cover two sections of the TOEFL test, one from the listening and one from the reading. Now, our class is beginners, introduction. We only meet once a week. It's a two hour class. We don't have time to do everything. So our course focuses on reading skills and listening skills. Okay, reading and listening skills only. Now, when you continue your TOEFL study to the next level, you will study speaking and writing. Those are more advanced skills. The listening and the reading skills are the foundation. To study speaking and writing, you must first have a strong foundation in reading and listening. You need reading and listening to do speaking and writing. That's why we begin with reading and listening. Each week we will look at around one section of reading and one section of listening uh, in our textbook. Okay? It's not exactly one, it'll vary from week to week. But each section focuses on one question type in the test. So I'll show you and, and you'll read the type of question. You'll see examples of it and then you'll practice it. You'll practice it with me and you'll practice it for homework. You'll do your work and then you'll send me um, any questions and this sort of thing in an email. Step by step, we look at each reading question type and we look at each listening question type. Practice it again and again and again. And then of course, we do tests based on reading and listening at the midterm and the final. That's basically how our class proceeds. Next week, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you an introduction to the test. I'm gonna tell you about the structure of the test. First, you need to get the textbook, then we can do that. Next week, I'll show you the structure, tell you how the test works, and then we'll, do, we'll start our actual test practice. At no point, should you worry if it seems difficult at the beginning? It might, it does, that's fine. Remember, we're gonna learn about the test step by step. We're not learning it in one week or in one class. We're learning it in 15 weeks, 15 classes. So step by step, you will find yourself improving. You'll be understanding what the questions mean, what they're asking, how to find the answer, how to find the wrong answer, and how to get the work done on time. These are all very, very important things. Okay, good. All right, let me just tell you a little bit about me. Um, I live obviously here in Seoul, I love it here. I've been here for many years. I've been at Hongik for many years and I'm very happy. Hongik's a great place to work and the students have always been really, really wonderful. Um, I'm from the United States, a place called Seattle. Have you been there? If you've ever been to, the, to Seattle, you can let me know in an email. Uh, that's my home city, and uh, I go home usually once or twice a year to visit friends and family there and in other places in the U.S. Okay, that's about all for today. Again, today, uh, the main point is the syllabus, the class rules, uh, how the class will proceed, and I want you to know that even though we're doing this online, it does work, it will work, but a lot of it is up to you, okay? Every Monday, I'll send you an email in the morning, just preparing you for this week's class. I'll send you a video, usually in the afternoon, with a link so you can watch the video. Then you'll have three days to get back to me, do the work, watch the video, then get back to me with questions and so on. Just proceed along, and if you do it, you do it on time, you can do well in the class, and you will improve your TOEFL, and you will improve your English. Remember, even though this is a TOEFL class, it's really an English class. We're using the TOEFL test to improve our English. We're gonna learn a lot of vocabulary, a lot of expressions, and a lot of good test-taking strategies, all in one. I find the TOEFL very, very helpful for learning general English. And I hope it's very, very 
helpful and useful for you. It will be. Okay, that's all for this week. I look forward to getting your email. Please don't reply to the one I sent. Please send a fresh email directly from your, uh, you know, uh, your email address so I can keep each student separate. In every email, put your name, your student number, and the class number. You can put it in the subject or you can put it in the email. That's up to you, but it must be there. Otherwise, I won't know who you are and I can't give you credit. All right, everyone. It's uh, really great to have you in the class. Welcome aboard. I look forward to teaching you this semester and I sincerely hope to have a chance to meet you face to face on campus sometime this semester. I look forward to getting your email. I'll hear from you soon. Have a great first week of class. Talk to you next week, everyone. Bye-bye.